Hello, my name is Seth Hayden and I am the Program Director of Career Advising Counseling in the FSU Career Center. In this 10 minute presentation, I will walk you through various things of transitioning from college to work. This is not to assume that you do not already understand this process, but more to provide information to consider in relation to transitioning to a new job and potentially a new location. Take some notes as you follow along. This presentation will offer information on several elements of this transition. I will discuss things to change, coping mechanisms that can assist you in this transition, provide a list of useful tips regarding this process, as well as some quotes for inspiration. In order to consider the elements of a transition, it can be useful to categorize the elements of a transition to a new location and job in regards to potential difficulty. There appears to be a set of changes that are fairly straightforward. One way to assist is to create a checklist of changes that need to be made as you consider moving to a new location and starting a new position. Things like informing various people of your change of address, such as the post office, switching banks if needed, determining your status on credit cards, examining car insurance, registering to vote, intending to basic life needs, such as learning the location of a new pharmacy, appear reasonably clear as to the process of adjusting to account for your moving. Although these aspects of your transition may take a fair amount of time and effort to change, simple consultation with various parties can assist in determining the needed steps. There are other elements that may not be as clear as to the process of effectively transitioning to a new location. Developing a network of friends, finding quality professionals to serve as your doctor, dentist, mechanic, and hairstylist if needed, securing housing, and finding your way around can take a little more time and may not be as clear. Learning about your new community and developing a social network can be challenging in this process. In order to consider effective means for addressing these concerns, there are some things to consider that may be helpful. Something that may assist you in this transition is to have realistic expectations of this process. It may take time to adjust to your new surroundings and your new work environment. Developing a social network of friends may be much different than it was in college. You may have to work harder than while you were in school to meet people with shared interests and goals. Realize, realizing this process takes time can be helpful in lessening the anxiety over not immediately having a large group of friends. Realizing this process takes time can be helpful in lessening the anxiety over not immediately having a large group of friends. Being prepared by considering coping mechanisms, which we will discuss in more detail in a minute, can also be helpful. Finally, being aware that starting a new job can be very difficult with lots to learn related to your new role can also be useful. Knowing it can be difficult for anyone to transition to a new position can minimize the frustration related to adjusting to a new work environment and set of expectations. There are some things to consider that may be helpful in the process of developing a social network. First, being willing to meet people and put yourself out there socially can be helpful. Coworkers, various interest groups such as young professional organizations, alumni and booster clubs in your new town, communities of faith, and various websites such as meetup.com can be useful in adjusting to this process. As stated earlier in the discussion, it may take time to develop relationships with friends, so being comfortable with being alone and taking advantage of this time to explore the area or plan other things to do which you enjoy are ways to be more comfortable with being by yourself at first. In addition, considering your process for making other adjustments, such as a transition from high school to college, or moving to a new town when you were younger can provide insight as to effective strategies for this process. There are various helpful tips that might be useful in managing this transition process well. First would be to budget your move to consider the financial elements of the process. It could be helpful to also eliminate clutter as you will likely accumulate more possessions as you transition to your new location. Communities often have new resident packages which can offer information on things to consider in the process. Being aware and reflecting on your experience to ensure you're in touch with how you're doing as you transition to your new job and location can also be something to consider. Be bold in your willingness to challenge yourself in making new friends, trying new things, and asking for assistance if needed. Taking care of your health and well-being can also be of critical importance. Exercise and healthy eating can have an impact on your emotional and mental state. Attention to your basic needs is important in this process. There are several coping mechanisms in addition to the previously mentioned helpful tips that you would be wise to implement during your transition from college to your new job. 
awareness of your thoughts and feelings, as well as utilizing sounding boards of supportive people to talk through these things, can assist in working through this process well. Utilizing the lessons learned by others can help you avoid the mistakes that others have made. Have fun and still do things you enjoy. To reiterate, utilize various resources to assist in the process such as city guides and best of lists which can provide useful insights as to the things to do in your new area. New colleagues can also be a great personal and professional resource. They are often aware of the unwritten rules in a new job that are not in the office manual. In an appropriate manner, try to learn these things to ensure your success in your new role. Here are a few quotes related to transition that highlight the challenges and benefits of this process. Frederick Douglass once said, If there is no struggle, there is no progress. Robert Kennedy stated, Progress is a nice word, but change is its motivator, and change has its enemies. Jim Rohn stated, Your life does not get better by chance, it gets better by change. And Dr. Maya Angelos once stated, We delight in the beauty of the butterfly, but rarely admit the changes it has gone through to achieve that beauty. I think these quotes touch on both the benefits and the challenges of the transition. And it's something to consider that although it may be difficult at first, it can also be very beneficial to you in the long run, both personally and professionally. And if you consider the things that we've discussed, I am confident the transition will be more manageable and you will be able to acclimate yourself to your new job and your new location. As you're going through this process, please keep up with the Career Center. You may find us by using various social media, such as Facebook, as well as LinkedIn. And you can also visit our website at www.career.fsu.edu. We have tremendous resources which you may utilize related to various elements of your career development. Thank you for the time, and I wish you all the best in your new adventure.